My expertise are educational technologies. What I and my team are doing is researching how new educational technologies could be applied to education system on higher education, K-12 or other disciplines like workplace learning or lifelong learning. So we're exploring the potential of technologies but also the limitations um, to provide then scientific-based advice to practitioners in the field what technology to use to support their edu educational model they want to support. We judge the technology on three criteria. So the technology either needs to make learning more efficient, more effective or more attractive. So how does um, efficiency being defined. So we always look how technology can make the learning process or the learning environment and the infrastructure uh, in a more efficient manner. So it's not like that we want the students to make more uh, equations in the same time. It's more like there are a lot of processes that can be made more efficient. For instance, assessment procedures can be done mostly by computers and save time for the teacher to really support the students and the kids within uh, their learning process by saving time on the assessment tasks. So this is our approach to efficiency where we, where we judge the educational technologies for. Then we have effectiveness. So make learning more effective in the sense that the learners take more from the learning experiences so that they have higher learning outcomes and it's more remarkable for them what they learned and what to do about it. Examples of this um, could be like 3D printing where kids at school learn to how to make a model, print it and they, they take the experiences with them that they have a printed object and they are able to produce things with this technology and with this remembering this um, learning experiences they go out of school and know well if there's a moment that I need to design something I can do that. Finally um, making learning more attractive is about um, providing richer learning experiences as well uh, in a way that we use augmented reality or virtual reality to bring a student out of the classroom to an authentic environment to let them with their means and all their sensors experience what learning could be, about, could be about, what the topic is about, what the learning goal is about and what are the things that are matters. We apply this also for medical education for instance to provide medical students better insights with the augmented reality on certain uh, autonomy structures or other things. My research topics in, within educational technologies is currently about a trusted learning analytics, computational psychrometrics and multimodal data for learning. Why these three topics? So trusted learning analytics is a very important point. In the last 10 years the learning analytics community achieved major outcomes and has a high potential for the future of educational systems all over the world. Um, however many of these learning analytics solutions that are out there are customized to um, the education system in the US, in Australia or China and other places. So trusted learning analytics is for us the concept to implement learning analytics especially within the Netherlands and Germany uh, on the basis of the values that our education system support. So there's not one size fits all learning analytics system and trusted learning analytics is for us the instance, instantiation of learning analytics within Europe and especially Germany and Netherlands where we take care of the values of the education system, what is based on humanism but also on new rules that we got like the GDPR, the new data protection regulation that came out in last year to address the information rights that are specific for Europe. Within computational psychometrics is a very important topic because uh, they are established validated assessment processes and actually the psychometric community and the learning analytics community have been developing next to each other and they have not too much interchange. But now we are in a level of maturation that both fields can join each other actually and explore new ways how analytics can support an assessment and how assessment could be used for learning analytics. This all also known as stealth assessment is an important research topic we are studying currently. Finally we all know uh, we don't learn in the learning management system like many of them are out there, let's Moodle or others. We also learn uh, in, in environments that are not supported with digital means. So in, within multimodal learning we want to explore how sensors in the room or camera systems can be used to uh, 
support and provide feedback to learning behavior, is it motoric learning or other things, and how these data and activities can also be feeded into our trusted learning analytics system to get a 360 degree um, picture of the learning process and provide the best feedback to our students and learners. So why is that important? Um, we see more and more digital uh, digitalization of the society and also we see a high pressure on digitalization uh, in the education system. Europe is on different paces here. So many countries um, have been highly penetrated ed educational technology education system these days. But for instance, Germany is a bit behind that and just released a 5 billion euros uh, program to invest into educational technologies. So everything we explore with the technology and with the scouting of technology and the experience we collect, we want to take and uh, provides to the practitioners in the field so to enable them to make the right decision what kind of technology they need for their individual and, and institutional pedagogical approach. So within that we directly contribute the societal challenge of digitalization of the society and providing and making it a world we all want to live in because it carries the values and the importance of the things we take care of within our education system and how we think about the society should work. So, and we, considering how education technology can be used within that context for the education system in Europe. Mm -hmm.